What does sleep mean in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.1. Let's take a look at the documentation for sleep. The link to this documentation is down in the description. So what sleep does is it pauses the pipeline build until a given amount of time has expired. We can see here that there are two parameters. The first one is time, and the second one, which is optional, is unit. So let's go and create a pipeline using sleep. So we'll go into our dashboard, click on new item, we'll name it sleep, select pipeline, and click OK. Let's scroll down to our pipeline script section. We'll select the hello world option. Let's change echo hello world to sleep five. Now going back to our documentation, if we don't specify a unit, it's going to default to seconds. So what we should expect here when we run is the job will start, it'll sleep for five seconds, and then it will complete successfully. Let's click on save and click on build now. If we take a look at the output of the job, what we can see is it started up, we're sleeping for five seconds, and then as the sleep expires, the job finishes successfully. Now, what if I want to change that unit of time from seconds being the default for unit over to a different setting? Well, again, going back to the documentation, the valid options are nanoseconds, microseconds, milliseconds, seconds, minutes, days, and hours. So let's go back over and go back into sleep. Let's click on pipeline syntax. And here, what we want to do is change sample step down to sleep. The sleep time, I'm going to select one, and I'm going to change the unit from nanoseconds, which is the default here, to minutes, and click on generate pipeline script. What we'll see here is we now have a value for time, time one, and then the unit of minutes. Let's copy this. Let's go back over to our job configuration and change sleep five to the new value that we just created, sleep time one unit minutes. Let's click on save and click on build now. And what we can see from the output is that when the job started, we see it go to sleep for one minute and then it's successfully completed. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.